Now, with uh, stories, um, the, there is a uh, default setting that I might get you to change on your computers. Uh, you'll notice that uh, as I jump from one story to another, here down on AHD, I can see the uh, stories. Uh, the, the, sorry, the site. And as I jump up to the ground floor, uh, the site is dotted. Now, that's a default setting that we might change in the options pull down menu uh, down in work environments sorry in project preferences there's a thing called construction elements which is how we set the way objects uh, are viewed over uh, the story or below the story that there uh, that is referred to as their home story so for example here when we open up this dialog box um, in Archicad, we're going to set the settings so that um, if we're looking at an object above its home story, rather than see it as a dotted line, we're going to see it as a solid line. Okay, But when we see an object that's below its home story, it will stay as a dotted line. So for example, a roof. If we build a roof on a story above the story we're in, then that roof will be shown dotted. But if we see a, a, a site um, above the home story that it's been in, it's going to show that as a solid line. Okay, So we've changed um, the project preferences and it will stay like that. So if I say OK, you notice that my mesh now looks solid. Even though its home story has been drawn on AHD, on the ground floor story, it's shown solid now. Um, that, uh, that is a general practice in, ar in architecture. Uh, when we see something above our heads, we show it dotted. Uh, when we're looking down on something, we'll see it solid. So I'm going to jump back down to AHD and also point out the fact that we can copy and paste from one story to the other. You notice the lines are not visible up here. But if we did want to make them visible, I can jump down to here. I'm doing a multiple selection. This time I'm holding the shift key down and clicking uh, the lines that I created before. Now I'll use a keyboard command, control, copy, C, uh, control C uh, or if you'd prefer you go to the edit menu and uh, copy like this um, jump back up to the ground floor and paste edit paste okay. it puts the lines in exactly the same place and now I've got setbacks on my ground floor and setbacks on AHD okay. um, the way the heights work in, uh, in ARCHICAD, um, I can specify, remember from the diagram that I did down here, I can specify the height from one story to the other. So for example, if I was to build a wall up on the ground floor story, um, the dialog boxes now reflect the story heights. So uh, if I build a wall, that's at zero height to the story I'm in at the moment, um, both of these dialog boxes will say zero. That is, I'm zero height from the project zero, AHD, and I'm zero height to the story I'm in, which is AHD. But if I was to jump up a story, okay, um, and open up the wall tool, you'll notice that there is a difference now zero story to the ground floor story, which is the one I'm in at the moment, um, might be zero, but that is five meters above um, AHD, Australian Height Data. So there's always this dual referencing system in architecture. It's not really to do with uh, ARCHICAD, though ARCHICAD reflects that. Um, the dual referencing system is that we generally dimension from the story that we're in. So a wall can be built off a floor slab that's on level 
say three or two or one, um, but that can also be given a height above the Australian height datum. Okay, and that's what these two um, references are here in the dialog boxes. One is referring to the story that you're in, one is referring to the Australian height datum. And change one, and the other one will automatically change. Okay, so if I wanted to build a wall a metre above floor level, it automatically tells me how high I am above the Australian height datum. And vice versa, if I set that at five metres, it will automatically change this back to zero. And my wall here is going to be 2.7 metres high. Okay. I will look at walls a little bit uh, in a little bit more detail in a few tutorials time. Okay.